Hey there, Langley Leopards. Today, I'm going to show you how we're gonna make our second art project for the year. You are gonna need about four or five objects that you can trace on your paper, so they can't be too big. I found a heart puzzle piece, a big mega block, a bowl, and a spoon. So these objects should not be too bumpy, too small, too big. Try to find simple, get your parents to help you. Try to find a few objects and we're gonna practice tracing and then we're gonna use our lines to make them really cool. So you are gonna trace with pencil. I'm tracing with marker so you can see. When you trace your objects, you hold them down really tight. So I'm gonna start on the side of my paper and I'm gonna hold my bowl down so that it doesn't move. And I'm gonna hold my drawing utensil and I'm gonna to touch the edge. Okay, so your drawing utensil is gonna to touch the edge. You going to go all the way around real slow. And there I have that item. So now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to put it anywhere on my paper. I think I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to do just like I did with my bowl. I'm going to hold down and I'm going to have my pencil touch the edge. And I'm going to go all the way around. And some of these objects, they're not flat, so they're going to be a little tricky. So I just want you to go around and trace, 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 trace. Look, I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. And now I'm going to take my block. And I'm going to put it this way. And I'm going to trace, trace. So remember to go real slow around your object. And tracing is real good for artists because when you trace, you practice what's called fine motor. You practice your hands getting better at drawing. Now I'm going to do my heart. And since you guys are just practicing, it's okay if you need to practice a couple times or if you need to erase. So go real slow around your object, real, real, real slow. And Mrs. Jones's is not perfect. I messed up a couple times. I messed up here and I messed up here. So you want to go slow and draw your object. So make sure they're not too hard or, I mean, too bumpy or too big or too small. So just find a, true, a few objects and I want you to practice tracing. Then we're going to do those cool lines that I showed you. We're going to do some wavy lines and some zigzag lines, and straight lines and loopy loop lines. So inside your objects, you're going to practice those lines. So maybe I'll do... A wavy line inside this one. So in this circle, I'm just going to practice my wavy lines. And you can do all this first with pencil, and then you can go over it with crayon. All right, I think I'm going to do some, maybe I'll just do some straight lines. Maybe I'll do some loopy loop lines. Now. And then maybe in my block, I'll just do some zigzags. So our picture today isn't going to look like last week where we did a sunset. Sometimes art is just art that has colors and lines. So it's not supposed to look like something real. It's just supposed to be fun. So find some things around your house and trace, trace, trace. And then I want you to practice your lines inside your items. And you can color these in if you want when you're done. All right. I'm really proud of you guys. Do your best. Bye.